we can start out with claims because they understand the inner workings, if you will, of, uh, of the legal system. Uh, they can probably pro provide non-legal but consultative services that are of great value to, uh, to the client base. Uh, and I, I look at the client base as internal and external. The external is obviously the client. The internal would be the, the brokers if you're at an insurance broker or the underwriters if you are at an underwriting firm, both of which can glean a lot of valuable information from the litigator as to how things may play themselves out in court once a piece of uh, litigation is filed and once the, uh, the various uh, motion practice moves forward. So claims is a natural, but I wouldn't stop there because I think that litigators, look, if you're, a, if you're one of these litigators that cannot do anything but litigate and it comes out in everything you do, then the scope of opportunity is going to be far more limited. But if you are a litigator that understands the vast array of opportunities and can sort of control yourself, if you will, for that, for a better term, then I think the opportunities are vast. And if you're a, a carrier, a litigator could be extremely valuable on the underwriting side. That was one of the reasons for me. I started out in claims at AIG. Six years in, I was plucked out of, a, of claims and I was asked once again to be guinea pig and move over to the underwriting side. 